Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video on my booktube channel Books with Leo. Today I'm doing a book haul and I'm also doing a fairy loot unboxing. I still have to unbox my latest fairy loot. Yeah, let's just jump right in. I just realized you can see me in the reflection. Hope it's not bothersome. Anyway, let's start with the fairy loot because that's what I'm most excited about. Okay, so just to be completely transparent, Fairy Loot sent this to me because I'm a Fairy Loot rep, so I unbox their boxes every month. I'm really excited about it. I love all of their boxes. They're a fantasy subscription box. And yeah, it's always a fantasy book and it comes with a lot of goodies. And this month, the theme is Greek mythology. So that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, let's see. Ooh, uh, I've popped the box down here so I can grab stuff out of it and show you. This is the spoiler card. It always shows everything that's in the box, so I'm not going to look at that now. And then I also already saw this print that I got out of the box and it's really pretty. I believe this is Annabeth and Percy from Percy Jackson. So really, really pretty stuff. Then the first thing that I see is this wooden... Oh, it's a spatula! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. It's so pretty. It's got this engraved thing on it. Okay. Look at that. It's engraved. I really like that we got a spatula because this is so useful. I can't wait to flip some things and cook with this. For those of you who don't know, I love cooking, so this is really great. It says, did you know food is infinitely more scrumplicious when you're in love? Not sure what scrumplicious means. Is this a bilingual thing? Or did they make up a word? I don't know. Anyway, this is a really pretty spatula. Okay, I get overly excited about these boxes, so that's just something you have to get used to. <laughs> Next thing I see... They always have this paper packaging. Um, it's this little thing, a little envelope. Oh, it's a patch. Okay, that's cool. It's not totally my style, but it's definitely really pretty. It's a Medusa patch. I love how they always have a theme and this whole Greek mythology theme. So cool. I usually don't really like Greek mythology books. Like I liked Percy Jackson, but Circe wasn't really for me. We'll see, but I do like the theme and I like the aesthetic of it. So <laughs> I'm still really pleased with the theme of this box. Next thing I noticed is this little box and it says Cupid and Psyche. It's got this sort of Roman theme on it. Or well, Greek, obviously not Roman. <laughs> okay, let's open the box. I always have such trouble with opening boxes. Okay, it's wrapped. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Oh my god, it's a little plate. I think this is probably a little trinket dish, but it's really pretty. Oh my god, I can't wait to put earrings and stuff on that. I now use a shell to store my earrings on. <laughs> so this is actually really nice. Although I, I love my shell too. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yes, really happy with this. Ooh, uh, then we have the tarot cards for this month. They always come with pretty tarot cards and they're usually character cards. So it's characters from books. I never know what characters they are. And if I do actually know the characters, I never recognize them straight away because I'm dumb. The art is always so gorgeous. I just noticed another little envelope and I know there's an animal bookmark in here or a metal bookmark. And the metal bookmarks, Verilu does. They're always so pretty. Oh my God, it's pink. Oh. oh my God. I think it's going to be really pretty. One, two, three. Oh. What? That is so... Oh. I'm speechless. <laughs> I know this looks like so ridiculous, me over-exaggerating, but like, no. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but I'll make a close up. And it's also got a tassel and it's brown. Honestly, it's so beautiful. This makes me want to do animal bookmarks for my web shop. I'm not even I'm not even sure if that's possible, but God, that is so beautiful. Jeez. Oh, I'm in love with it. <laughs> and it's even got this little see-through bit here. Oh, that is just so, so, so pretty. Oh my God. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, this is the box of my dreams. I have to say, I think this is the favorite box I've received from them so far because now... I noticed that there's also a book sleeve in it and book sleeves in subscription boxes are one of my favorite things. So I think, yeah, this is a Circe quote from Medlin Miller. But in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth. 
That is so pretty. I love the design and I'm always so delighted to receive another book sleeve because they come in so handy when you do a lot of traveling. Not that I do that right now, but when you go places and you take a book and then you can protect your book and you can also use them as a pillow with your book in them. Maybe it's only me who does that, but yeah. Really happy with this book sleeve. It's so pretty. We've also gotten to the book. I think I already know which book it is because there's one big release that's Greek mythology themed. So I'm guessing it's that one, but maybe I'm wrong. Probably not. I've not been spoiled, but still, let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's that one. Ooh, uh, oh, it's got a totally different cover. They kept the one thing on the cover that I didn't really like, which was the eye. <laughs> like I like the Medusa that's normally on the cover, but they have deleted that. <laughs> anyway, it's still really, really pretty. And I've just noticed the spine. That is honestly gorgeous. These sprayed edges. Oh, look at those sprayed edges. That is really, really pretty as well. God, fairy loot, you amaze me every time. Okay, so this is Law. All I know about this book is by Alexandra Brecken, and I haven't had a lot of luck with Alexandra Brecken's books in the past, but I think this is about a sort of Greek mythology X Hunger Games. That's all I know. <laughs> I might be way off, but that's all I know. And I like to go into books a bit blind. So yes, it looks really, really gorgeous. Oh my God, marble. That's so pretty. And let's check the bear back. Oh, <gasps> look, it's also got art. And this is also foils. Each time they spoil me with beautiful books. Oh, that's the only way I want to be spoiled. <laughs> So let me just read the flap to you guys. Do you call that that in English? I don't know. Anyway. In modern day New York, a murderous game is about to begin. The Agon. Murderous games. Ooh. Every seven years for one week only, Zeus punishes the gods by forcing them to walk the earth as mortals, savagely hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines. All eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. That sounds so good. After her family was brutally murdered by a rival line, Law Pest was fled. I'm pronouncing all these Greek names horribly, probably. Turning her back on the Aegon's cruel promises of eternal glory. For years, Law has honoured her parents' memory by doing one thing, surviving. For years, she has pushed away dark thoughts of revenge until now. As the next game dawns, Law finds Athena gravely wounded on her doorstep. The goddess offers her an alliance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But Law's decision to rejoin the hunt will come at a deadly cost and may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to destroy all of humanity. <gasps> okay, so there's murder, there's games, there's gods needing to walk the earth as mortals. This sounds like a dream come true. Okay, I can't wait to read this. This sounds really good. Alexandra Bracken always has these really good plots and then when I come to reading them, I kind of dislike them a lot of the times. The actual book. Same with her time travel series, so... Fingers crossed, I actually like this one. Okay, so then there's a few things left in this box. I got the little bookmark that comes with a book, then this beautiful final art print, and it's always got an author's letter on the back. And then we have the fairy scoop, which is like a little magazine with author interviews and more stuff, information, always really nice, like a read-alongs they do, it's all in the little pamphlet. And then we have the theme for next month, which is what the future holds. Ooh, a sci-fi. Thank you so much again to Fairy Loot for sending me these boxes and let's now get into the rest of the book haul. So I recently went on a little book buying spree again and I bought a couple of books. I know this book haul is not as big as they've been sometimes in the past, but I thought it was nice because now I could combine it with my Fairy Loot unboxing. So the first book that I bought was Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I wanted to say Holly Black by Holly Jackson. And this is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I read last week I think and I was really really loving it. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder is basically a book about this girl called Pippa Fitzamobi and she's doing her final essay of her secondary school on this murder that happened in her hometown and she's bound to prove that the guy who everybody thinks did it didn't actually do it but he was wrongfully well, he wasn't convicted, but he was wrongfully judged because he also died. And people are all blaming him, but he was never actually convicted. So she is on a mission to prove that he did not do it. And then in this second book, 
I think it's like standalone-ish in the sense that her story continues, but this is about a different case where a girl from her hometown goes missing. So this is like a whole new case in this series. I love that there's these books coming out again when it, where it's like a new case per book. That is one of my favourite things in crime fiction. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to picking up this next book in the series. Then I bought yet another crime book and that is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Similar story. I read The Hunting Party last month loved it, enjoyed it. Lucy Foley does a lot of remote stories where then one of the group dies and uh, this is very similar. It's an island and I think there's a wedding on the island and one of the guests dies and then it's like who did it? It's a murder mystery. A whodunit basically. I loved Lucy Foley's The Hunting Party. She's really really good at writing characters and at building characters and they were all so morally grey and so interesting to read about. Like not good people but very entertaining to read about. So I'm really excited to pick up this one. That's also why I bought it. I had some gift cards left. So I really went all out and I bought a lot of stuff from my gift cards. So yeah, this is also a book I picked up. Then I picked up another thriller. <laughs> I picked up a lot of thrillers. This is almost all thrillers, I just realised. Okay. Anyway, the next book I want to talk about that I bought is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Call. This is a psychological thriller and I don't usually read a lot of psychological thrillers because I'm not stable. <laughs> like, I... I, I... I struggle with mental health sometimes and like when it gets too much into your head it's not good for me but I've heard that this one is really manageable and has a lot of humor as well so all that I know it all that I know is that this is about a main character who lives in Brooklyn and her surroundings keep changing and it's basically a thriller that incorporates elements of class differences and gentrification. This is just something that I really really want to read. I've also heard that a lot of people say it feels like a little bit of a rom-com in the beginning but then it gets really tense and it's really well written or that's what I've heard. And I also really like the cover with the blue and the bold lettering so yeah I'm really excited to dive into this book. Let me know if you've read it. The next book that I bought was the third Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osmond. Okay, all I know is that I love the cover. It's got this embossed texture to it and I just really like the design. And it's a nice big paperback as well. And it's floppy. We love a good floppy paperback. But what I like about this one is that it's about old people in a caring home and they're looking at cold murder cases. That sounds so good. It's basically supposed to be really funny and also really cool to read about and like for fans of true crime and crime fiction. This sounds like such a fun read that's also about crime. So really cool. Can't wait to pick it up. We're done now with the thrillers, which is really great because the next book that I picked up is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton or Everything I Know About Parties, Dates, Friends, Jobs, Life, Love. That really sounded like Live, Love, Laugh, which is not great. <laughs> this is a sort of autobiography in a way by Dolly Alderton, which is basically all about her relationships in her life and growing up and coming of age. It just sounded really cool to me. It says on the back, which is I think a really great descriptor, steeped in furiously funny accounts of one night stands, ill-advised late night taxi journeys, grobby flat shares and the beauty of female friendships as Elderton joyfully booze cruises her way through her 20s. Well, I'm in my 20s and I could use some guidance and also some fun stories to read. So that's why I picked this up. I already read a little bit when I was visiting my parents. So I read a little bit on the train. I loved it. I felt like this would be a new favorite. So I'm really, really excited it to further read on in this book. We've come to the last book which is great because my battery is running empty and that one is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I've heard all of booktube and their grandmother talk about this book. I don't mind because the cover is stunning and the story sounds so impactful and so important and like something I really want to read. My best friend just picked up this one as well so we can all read it now and discuss it. I can't wait. Can we talk about the gold foiling? I'm so excited. This is about two sisters. They're both black, but one of them chooses to go through life more white because she can like present herself as white. And the other one stays with her black daughter in the same Southern town they grew up in and sort of chooses to be black in a way. And it says on the back as well that their daily lives are very different as adults, including their racial identities. So across the country, one of the sisters secretly passes for white and her white husband knows nothing of her past. This just sounds really, really interesting. It says weaving together multiple strands and generations from the deep South to California, from the fifties to the nineties, the vanishing half is at one's riveting emotional family story and a brilliant exploration of race, gender and identity. That sounds like something I want to read so I'm really excited about this. I've also heard many great things about Britt Bennett's prose so 
can't wait to dive into this one. And yeah, a really nice addition to my book collection, I think. So those were all the books and also my fairy loot unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below whether you've read any of these books and whether you've enjoyed them. I always love to hear from you guys. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.